How's it going YouTube? Andy the Kenworth Guy here. Thanks for coming by the channel today. I don't know about you, but uh, sometimes you have those moments in your life where you accomplish something really great. Uh, you're really proud of it. Well, if you caught last week's video, um, wow, I, I'm really proud of that creation of, of that video. And, and uh, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, there's a link at the end of this video, you can check it out. But we have another project truck here today and i promise we're going to get to some other models i know we've been on a w9 kick here lately but uh that's starting to wind down for a couple weeks and then i got a whole bunch more coming so uh buckle up and get ready but uh yeah let's roll that intro and i'll see you out at the truck All right, so welcome back. Here we are out front in front of the store and I got a treat for you guys. Woo -wee! Another W900. This one here has the herd road train, the lower rake on it. Just, that is beastie, beastie. Heavy duty, gotta love it. So uh, this is a brand new 2020 W900L, it uh, features the 72 inch aero cab Aerodyne bunk, and it is with a 247 inch wheelbase. So a little bit longer than our traditional 244. Um, starting up here at the front, I'll just show you some of the things that uh, has been done to this truck. Uh, we put this moose bumper on it. It's got the turn signal LED lights built in. Uh, put the chrome, uh, bug deflector on the hood and then uh, also the Kenworth uh, chrome trim piece that goes around the headlight bezel that looks really sharp um, and I will open up this bumper potentially I don't know if this is going to hit might make a little bit of a challenge to get under the hood but uh, we'll take a look at that later so we got the LED lights up on the fender here and just so you guys know this is optional Come standard with an incandescent bulb. Uh, you have to option to pick the LED there. Uh, has the elephant ears right up here, covering the air intake, and the 15 inch Donaldson air cleaner. Uh, we didn't do any lights on it, just keep it nice and clean. And we obviously put some uh, pinstriping, similar to one that we did before for another project truck. Uh, it has the rotating beacons up on the roof. Got the LED lights with the stainless steel uh, visor, and we got the one-piece windshield up top. Got the moto mirrors, so power windows on power mirrors on both sides. Polished battery box with the polished end caps right here, and then we got the stainless st stainless steel permit panel under the cab. So there is room to fit a little light bar if a guy wants to do that. Uh, I've done that on a few of the trucks here recently. Uh, we're just keeping this one kind of clean. Uh, we put the bumper on it and uh, did a few other things instead of, you know, but uh, we got the polished 150 gallon fuel tank here and we put on the plastic or the poly uh, white fenders, which actually looks really sharp with uh, the white truck. Um, I, I think anyways, we got the deck plate right up here and then the lights on the back. Now we can order these in LED along with the ones up on the side extenders here. So those can come LED, it is not a published option. So you'd have to make sure that you're getting that uh, sales code uh, when you're ordering the truck. We got a fifth wheel here, FW35. It is an eight inch ride height, 24 inch slider. And we got the Kenworth AG460 suspension. We got the polished aluminum rims, Alcoa's on the back and the Michelin X DN2 drives. The end of frame treatment, uh, it has uh, the heavy duty cross member and then we got the open sides up on there. So that flange is kind of cut out from the factory. Uh, the rear ends here, we got the Dana Spicer D46170Ps. So those are the 46K diffs with an oil pump on it. It's a good thing to order a truck with an oil pump. That way when you're in a uh, bit of a spin, uh, not over spinning, 
you're keeping everything lubricated. Otherwise, all those gears are just sitting in an oil bath and uh, you're not getting the, the proper lubrication if you're in a high spin situation. So not a bad thing for an extra three or $400. Put that on your trucks when you're specking them. Alrighty, on uh, this side here, same setup, AG460, of course. <laughs> and uh, we got your 100 gallon fuel tank on this side that is polished as well. And then the def tank is on the passenger side on this truck, just the way that it was set up. And uh, we got the polished DPF box right in there. Now looking up high, we got the 48 inch tall, seven inch wide tailpipes. So the tailpipes are seven inch wide and then it just goes down skinny in behind. That's kind of how they always go. And then your heat shield is the smooth one without the Kenworth or any name in the, in the door there. We also put the chops on the, on the top of the windows there. So you got those just to kind of give that old school look. And uh, yeah, let me give it a try to open up the bumper here. So looking at this herd moose bumper, uh, herd is actually based out of Winnipeg and they sell bumpers all around uh, North America through the, through the network of all the dealers. So you take out that pin and this one here has the quick release. So you just pull that down and then the whole thing just slides down. So it's not a huge pain in the rear end to, yeah, that's going to touch there. Yeah, I'm not going to open the hood because the hood's not going to open all the way and it's going to do some damage. But anyhow, so that's basically what we got going on there. So it's got this mechanism here that locks it in place and you can just chuck it back up and then it's done. Uh, we got the seven gr uh, grill bars on there as well. <clears throat> so that's nice and simple. And then you got the lock pin that just drops in like so. So there you have it. So that's a little bit about the outside. I'll talk about what's under the hood. So it has a 565 1850 torque Cummins uh, under the hood here. We have the hood hinge reinforcement uh, right down there. You can see that. I talk about those often. We got the remote lube terminal and the grease terminal, the grease terminal and the uh, battery boost terminal as well. And uh, yeah, and we also have the, the added uh, bar that goes underneath here. That's just to help the hood open up a little bit easier. So a few little things on this truck. So this is your, your Super B spec truck, uh, 46 rear ends, gearing at 342s. So it's geared pretty fast so you can uh, get up to 70 mile an hour if a guy wants. Let's take a look inside. Take a look inside. Just turn on my handy dandy light. So what we got going on inside here, we got a diamond VIT interior with the navigation screen and the full gauge package all the way across. Uh, full four-way locking differentials and then the 18-speed manual transmission. 
has the carpet throughout the floor, which is why it's all covered in this plastic, just to protect everything, keep it clean. And uh, over here, we have a couple of switches for the lights on the back. Does have auxiliary light switch here to operate any sort of uh, uh, lights that you wanna put under the cab or on the air cleaners. So you got auxiliary lights there. And uh, looked at, oh yeah, it's pre-wired for auxiliary uh, lights for the air cleaners. You can see the, the wiring right there. Uh, over here, we have your interior lights and then your sleeper light as well. Power windows, door locks, and mirror controls right there. And uh, down here, we also have the additional auxiliary light switch. So that's for under the cab, fog lights, beacons, uh, your fifth wheel slide, hazards, your jakes, your uh, cruise control, air suspension dump, and then your locking differential, okay? Now up here is your AM FM weather band Sirius XM radio. We did the black dash, so everything is nice and black, nice and clean. And then we got the black headliner with the diamond VIT. Has an opening for CB radio, so very easy to access. So you can throw that in there if you'd like. And then we got the uh, Air Cushion Premium Plus Kenworth leather heated seats. So are these heated actually? I'll just double check. Um, yes, they are heated. There is the switches right below. So basically what you got here is uh, all your lumbar supports and then your height adjustment, little cup holder right here, storage pocket right down there, and then uh, the stowable armrests on both sides. So you have a little bit more room in between the seats there. Uh, as far as in the bunk here, we got a single bed with the rear storage. So uh, this is how it comes right from the factory. And this is just a curtain that goes around in this box that goes around the windshield. Uh, we have the windows and bunk doors on both sides. So that's what we got in there. And uh, we got the lower bed right here. Now, I don't believe, I'm not sure how this one was set up as far as, no, this one is not a liftable bunk but uh, there's a little bit of what it looks like underneath, okay? And uh, we got the fridge right in there. Somebody said, that's a really small fridge. You can't even fit a chicken pot pie in there. Well, I think you could probably get uh, about, I don't know, maybe 20, probably like 50 pizza pops in there for sure, 50. I don't know, tell me how many, how many of what food item you can put in your fridge. I'm curious to know. All right, I'm just being a bit of a, a doink. <laughs> All right, uh, on this side here, this is where you have some storage. And then you have that table that flips down like so. So you got a little writing pad, a writing area to, to set that up. And then there's uh, just open storage in there. You got storage here, storage up above as well. And same thing on this side, storage up above right there, and then this is a full length deep closet with a hanger up above. So on the back here, this is where we have the rear panel. So you got your SPAR heater, which is a, uh, a heater for the sleeper only. Here's your adjustment for the air conditioning and heating in the cab or in the sleeper uh, anyways. And then there's your fridge to turn that off and on and then your lighting inside. So that's a little bit about the interior on this truck. All right, so there we have it. There is the tour on this project truck that we have for sale. Uh, it is available if you want to uh, get a price on it. By all means, give me a call. Uh, all my contact information is below my email. You can go to thekenworthguy.com, which is a link up here. There's a little contact me form. Just fill out a few things and I'll reach out to you, get back to you. Uh, if you want to see what we have in inventory, again, that's all on my web webpage as well. And uh, hey, if you're liking these videos and you want to get notified about future videos, please do me a favor. Please hit subscribe down on the bottom here. And if you like this video, give the truck a thumbs up. I'd sure appreciate that. That would mean a lot. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming by. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.